AI tools have completely revolutionized the content creation game. And so the question is, what are the best tools right now for creating content and which tools can actually save us massive time and help us get more views, more subscribers, more followers, and ultimately multiply our content around the internet. My guest, Nikki Saunders from Deeper Than The Brand, all-time content creator, podcaster, spends an extensive amount of time testing out the tools, doing the research. So Nikki, what are the main AI tools that you're like, these are beyond worth their weight in gold. I use these on a regular basis and these are the ones that like really move the needle for me. So for me, it's still gonna be ChatGPT hands down, especially with some of the updates that they have. One of the things that I'm really excited about with ChatGPT is the Dolly 3 integration, right? So I could chat it up and it comes up with a whole image and I can pretty much continue to modify it right in the chat. Right now, Dolly 3 has like some of the best images and you can actually put text. So let's say if you wanted to do a thumbnail that's saying Think Media, you just literally type all that and say text with Think Media that you can use. It's it's so like I said, super dope. I would say that's my everyday thing. I honestly didn't even know about Dolly 3 and I'm a paying user. I use it every day that I'm creating content to just kind of be an assistant to how I think and helping with research and ideas and kind of crafting my content and titles. So we use that on a consistent basis. If that's the everyday use AI, what are some of your favorite tools maybe expanding out from that related to content creation? So one of my favorite has to be Opus Clip right now. Opus Clip will take your long form videos, whether you take your YouTube link and you put it in there, or you have a video that you have on your hard drive and you kind of upload it and it'll clip it up to like, depending on how long the video is, between to 10 to 47 clips. And it adds the captions, you can customize it, you can add logos to it. I heard in the grapevine, one of the new updates that they're gonna have is that they're going to start adding b-roll to it so not only from from the captions you can have emojis but now in certain points based off what ai has picked up it can add certain b-roll for you for those people who kind of want to add that to their videos so i found it out of all the different types of repurposing ai tools that that are out there that Opus Clip has been kind of the best selection and best customization for that there are others and I've said it one before with Get Munch when we when we first talked about it, but it seems that the selection for Opus Clip has gotten way better. And I think the upgrading that they have and the roadmap that they have for content creators is dope. I uploaded a Zoom call that we had and it did 47 clips. And I was like, oh, we're we're good, not only from a social media standpoint, but even if you have a community, you this is lim unlimited content pretty much for your community. So Opus Clip is, is another one for me. And we'll make sure to link up these resources in the show notes. I want to talk a little bit about your content strategy and what's working for you today and what we could do to just even get generally better results with our content. Is there any other AI tools besides ChatGPT, Dolly connected to that, Opus Clip? we really should be paying attention to as content creators. There's a new one that came out that I've been playing around with that is super impressive called Firecut. And it's a plugin for Adobe Premiere Pro. And I believe Ali Abdal is like a part of it. So what this does is it has several features. One, if you have a podcast and you have multiple camera angles, you do all the camera angles in there and it instantly cuts it for you in a matter of minutes, right? So that's one feature. And I believe, and I've tested out a few other ones. I believe that one does, does it extremely well. It also, at the same time, gives you captions. It can create multiple captions for you. It could do the automatic zoom in and zoom out where you don't even have to touch it. And then it also adds chapters. So you can pick... If anybody has seen any of Ali's uh, videos, he has this like this chapter. It takes a whole the whole screen and adds the words for you. That feature, that plugin actually does that for you as well. 
And then it does, it, it removes all the ums and the, the huh, all those filler words. And it does it all in one plugin. So that's one that I've been messing around with that I'm super impressed with. I gave it to my editors like, here, use that. And it's the, it's it's a game changer when it comes to our, our content workflow. I'm curious on Opus Clip, do you spend some time tweaking it, reviewing the clips, and then, and then all the way to where you post those, like your workflow for eventually using the final clips that are being repurposed yeah. using something like Opus? I have two, two use case scenarios. So first one is I went on YouTube Live and once I was done, I went directly to Opus Clip and I took that that link from YouTube, put it in Opus Clip. It created about 20 different clips. Now, not all of them are good. I'm not sitting here and gonna lie and be like, all oh, 20 are fire, that's a lie. I would say a good three or four were were usable. So in my head, okay, I just went live. I need a quick clip that I could put on YouTube Shorts and then direct it straight back to the live. So one time I just took directly from Opus clip and I put it right into uh, YouTube Shorts. And the other one, I actually put it back in my video editor and just added some extra pictures. So for me, still having that human touch to what AI does is still going to go a little bit undefeated. The Opus Clip one by itself did good, but the one where I added the extra pictures, it, it did a couple, like a extra thousand views because I was very intentional with showing a little bit more visuals and it kind of showed that, oh, this is not just AI, right? Still to this day, I don't believe AI is perfect. It still needs our guidance and way to show that this is our style to our audience. Yeah, that makes total sense. And a great point about needing that final touch. Always love talking to you. You're doing a lot of cool things. So shout out, where are you at? What are you working on? Everybody can find me at This Is Nikki's on all, all platforms. Deeper than the brand, that's my community. That's where I go really deeper in this AI stuff, really deeper in the content creation game. Nikki, appreciate you so much. And uh, thanks again for adding value to the Think Media community. Think Media Podcast, we'll see you in the next episode.